Uh, shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rukakudash. And of course, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and blessings to the hopeful elect out there teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth, in the hopes that we may edify and feed the lambs of Yahweh Shai, especially in these last days. <clears throat> and you know, um, you know, I'm, I'm on the fin Financial Times here. You know, you can see it's financialtimes.com or ft.com. And uh, I just wanted to speak on this article real quick, man, because this clearly shows, you know, what time we're in. All right. Um, and when I say what time we're in, being that we are at the end of this man's kingdom, this man's society. When I say this man, I'm talking about the wicked that the Bible speaks of, you know, headed by, you know, starting with the elites of the nation of Esau, Edom, who are known as the wicked. In Malachi 1 and 4, they are known as the borders of wickedness. All right. And, you know, the scripture says clearly in um, the book of uh, Sirach, uh chapter 10, right, verse 1, it says, A wise judge will instruct his people and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. All right. Verse 2, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is? Such are all they that dwell therein. So what manner of the man the rulers are, you know, pretty much the people are going to follow suit. All right. And, and the manners of this man, the devil, the wicked that the Bible speaks of, is to pretty much steal, kill, destroy, murder. You know, he's a thief. He's a liar. All right. He's corrupt. He's cutthroat. And pretty much he doesn't hold no remorse for the things that he does. All right. The scriptures tell you that the nature of this man is that violence covers him as a garment. That's in Psalms, the 73rd chapter. All right, so being that we're in a time where the wicked is in rulership on the earth, what kind of mindset do you think the people are going to be in on the earth? Because we just read it, right? As a judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. So what manner of man is this devil? All right, he's the basis of men. Let's get that scripture. You know, let's find out. Let's go to Daniel's, um, what manner of man is... This devil is, Daniel chapter 4, verse 17. This matter is by a decree of the watchers and a demand by the word of the holy ones. Right? To the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men. So it's the Most High that actually rules in the kingdom of men. Whenever you see a kingdom that's established on the earth, you know, it has a certain time period to rule. And then all the previous kingdoms have had certain time periods to rule. Whether it be the Babylonians, the Medo-Persians, all right, uh, the, the Greeks, and then the first leg of the Roman Empire, they all had their uh, you know uh, uh, slots, their time period to rule on the earth, and guess what? They came crashing down. And here we are in the second leg of the Roman Empire. Okay, it's good to speak about the deadly wound that was healed. Okay, and it's about to be crushed, and the Lord's going to set up an everlasting kingdom. It's going to be the kingdom of Yahweh Shai. Read. Daniel chapter 2 verse 44 It goes into that But we're clearly not in that time period yet We're coming to that, that time period The scripture says again in Sirach uh, 10 and 8 Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries and riches got by deceit Right? Let's go to verse 8 um, I don't know why it went back to the... Hang on a second so, uh, Sirach 10 and 8 Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries and riches got by deceit this man is nothing. He's full of nothing but deception. Okay, now you got them, 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 them sand niggas over there complaining that he's dropping bombs on their ass, right? Over there in the land of Israel, that whole West, you know, Gaza Strip and all of that and whatever. You know, they're, they're finding out how much of a devil this devil really is. All right, but hey, welcome to the fucking club because we've been, we've been putting up with this devil shit for the longest time. All right, who's going aside to ask how we do, man? You know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians. See, they want to talk about the past. Well, how about bringing up the, 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 the trailer tears, the devil's punch bowl? How about bringing up cargo slave ships, auctioning blocks, uh, buck breaking or lynching all throughout fucking America? All right, so that, this is riches got by deceit, unrighteous dealings. This kingdom's full of unrighteous dealings, man. Injuries, riches got by deceit. And the Lord said that kingdom is translated from one people to another so it's going to go from what from Esau to Jacob all right because that's in Sirach, um not Sirach I've got Sirach on my mind second Ezra chapter 6 okay verse 9 and it says for Esau is the end of the world 
and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Esau, he's at the, we're at the end of Esau's kingdom, and this kingdom is divided, and that kingdom ain't gonna stand. Any kingdom that's divided shall not be able to stand. The Lord told us this. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Jacob and Israel is interchangeable, man. And Israel means what? Yasha Allah. He is a prince of the power. And that's what we are. So we're waiting for that kingdom to arise, man. Yahweh Shai's kingdom. And we're going to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. But right now, you know, we're living in a time now where the wicked is in rulership on the earth. Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, all right? <clears throat> and the wicked is Esau, Edom. Again, Malachi 1 and 4 tells you that. So let's go back to Daniel 4 and 17. It says, To the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will. So this is about the will of the Lord, right? So the Lord gives the kingdom to whosoever he will. He puts down one and, and sets up another, right? And setteth up over it the basest of men. All right, and even in the NLT, you see at the end of that verse, this is even the lowliest of the people. So Esau, he's he's the lowliest of the people. Okay, so when you got a low, a real all-time low vibration on the earth, it stands to reason as to why you're having so much theft, you know, the you know, the, and, and 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 fuckery going on on the earth. Let me just put it like that, man. All you know, just Jake is just out here being out and bad. All these nations, man. All right, are feeling this this devil's rulership on the earth. And it's, it's grueling. All right. We want to end to this man's rulership on the earth. All right. But I want to focus on this article. I kind of went off on a bit of a tangent there. But you know what? That's all right. It's all in the spirit, Lord willing. Right. Lord willing, this is edifying. Because this is what we do these videos for. We push these videos out to let you know, according to biblical prophecy, why things are happening on the earth. We're sounding the alarm. We're blowing the trumpet. We're telling you why these things are happening on the earth. So you see this article right here where it says... The theft of meat, sweets and alcohol in the UK hits highest in a decade. All right. It says Britons are turning to crime. All right. And the word crime goes back to the word crimson, which means red. Esau, Edom. Right. The scriptures speak about that red horse. Right. Spoken of in Revelation 6 and 4. And that power was given unto him to take peace from the earth. And that there was given unto him a great sword. Esau, Edom. Now that... Hebrew word for Edom is Adawam, which means what? Red. All right. So, and, and horse represents power. So Esau has the power of the earth, man. Okay. And he's been set up to take peace from the earth. And this is just one spill off of this man's rulership. The fact that the basis of men or the lowliest of the people is ruling on the earth. This is why you got this theft on an all, all time high. And we know why they're doing this. They're doing this ultimately because guess what they're going to do? They're going to shut down these um, these shops. Elder um, uh, Apostle uh, Rakar was going into that. How you got these uh, these wormy ass niggas that be running up in, you know, the smashing grabbers. They be running up in stores and grabbing things off the shelf. You be seeing these little fucking in the tracksuits dressed in all black. They're running into mobile phone shops. They're ripping mobile phones off the fucking display stands. They're running in places, just grabbing things. And I've been seeing a lot I've been noticing a change in these supermarkets where, you know, you might even see packs of coffee that might cost five, six pound a pack. They're taking up, the, the supermarkets are taking that off the shelves and they're just putting pictures <laughs> of coffee up. So if you want it, you got to ask, the, <laughs> you got to ask them to get it from the, from the back storage cupboard, you know, or alcohol. You might go to the alcohol section and you might want to buy some, um, you might want to buy some yak, you know, excuse me, one sec. You know, you might want to buy some, um, you might want to buy some yak, right? You might want to buy a bottle of wine or no, not necessarily a bottle of wine, but you might want to buy some, I don't know, some liquor or whatever, man. That costs like £10 a bottle, £15 a bottle. That shit, you can't just see that on the shelf. Or if it's on the shelf, it's behind the counter. Or if it's not even, if it's not even there, they used to have it on the shop floor. Now they're just putting pictures up. Now you gotta ask a store. You know, when you go to the checkout, you gotta ask them for the for the bottle that you want. Then they bring it to you. They remove the alarm tag. They bring it to you. You know, I've been seeing a lot more of that. And even the steaks, like there's certain meats, they got like uh, security tags on them. That's been happening for the longest time. All right, but you, you're seeing it even more now. Usually they just put like a like a, a sticky pad, you know, on the meats that you could just easily rip off. 
So people were just, you know, they were just walking out the store with that. But now you've got these big ass alarm tags that are surrounding the meat, like a lamb of leg or something like that. They got big ass alarm tags wrapped around them. And why do you think that's happening? And pretty soon they're just going to be like, fuck it, close these stores down. All right. And that's all by design as well. Because remember, the scriptures say that we're not ignorant of Satan's. Let's get that scripture. Second Corinthians chapter two. Right? 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So we have to watch what Esau is doing. We're not supposed to be ignorant of Satan's devices, bro. Because ultimately, what they're going to do is what they, that's that order of chaos, man. Remember, all the chaos, oh, these niggas, they keep running up in the stores, they smashing, grabbing, whatever, shut them stores down. Okay? Now, what are you niggas going to do in the hood? All right, because remember, there's going to be certain spots in these cities, these major cities, that they're going to be set up. They're going to be doing good. All right, remember the scripture says, it, like in a, in a, as in the days of Noah, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. They were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, man. In fact, let's get that scripture. Right, this is how it's going to be. Uh, Matthew chapter twenty-four, verse. Uh, let me start from thirty-six. It says, "But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only." Right? But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Right? For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. So certain places are going to be doing all right. You know, you're going to have people walking around with a CHIP, you know? Uh, uh, the, uh, these, uh, what are these sanctuary zones, like uh, in the Hunger Games. You know? In the Hunger Games, you have certain people that are doing really rough. In certain districts, but in, in, in you know, in certain districts and other districts, you had Esau that was living fat, you know, pretty much doing good. Like they show you, like in time with Justin Timberlake, different the different time zones, and the further you went out from the center, you know, you had Esau doing good in the center, right? But then the further you went out of the time zones, you started seeing Jake just living poor, living like just dropping dead, living on less than nothing. There was you know, crime was at an all time high. So what? Look, this is what I'm saying, like. The scriptures speak about Jacob's trouble, man. That time's coming. All right? There's going to be a lack of availability of things that you're taking for granted now. You could just go into the supermarket and just grab off the shelf and fucking put it through a scanner and pay for. You ain't going to be able to buy or sell unless you had the chip. Okay? That's the mark of the beast. And that's why we're, we're constantly talking about the mark of the beast. Damn near every video we do, we always bring up the chip. Because that's a major prophecy that we're waiting for to pop off. In these last days, but in that time, it says, "For in, as in the days of, uh, that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage." Man, how you think they're going to be be able to buy this food, and drink this drink, and buy you know, through through using that chip, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. But even when they pushed that chip, remember, hey, Yahweh Shai, he's just going to be busting that door down quick. As soon as Esau goes to push out that chip and make it mandatory and people start getting chipped, they start buying and selling with the chip and whatever and this and that. And you're going to have people that ain't got the chip. They're going to be robbing people that have got the chip. So you, you're going to have people going into these supermarkets. They're going to be scanning their shit, paying with the chip. And then who do you think is going to be waiting for them outside? Like Elder Apostle Tahar was saying in one of his latest videos, man. You're going to have Jake that's in the cut waiting for them. You know, rebels. That are going to be waiting to hunt them down, clothesline them, take their sh uh, food shopping, and then just dip, do one. And just chow down on whatever the fuck they, you know, they, they, they brought out of the store. So it's going to be all out chaos out there. People are going to be fending for themselves. And that's all throughout the scriptures. When you go through uh, uh, 2 Corinthians 6 and 22, it speaks about that. Well, we can get that. In fact, let's hold that scripture. Because uh, in fact, I'm already in this. So we can just hold it right there. That's the spirit. All right, so let's go back and read this. It says, um, it says, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. All right, just like in the time of Noah, they were banging on the ark when the flood came. You know, Noah was out there prophesying over 100 years and they were fucking scoffing at Noah. They didn't believe it was going to flood. But then when the flood came, it took them all away. All right, it says, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Which is talking about Yahweh Shai and how he's going to invade this place. Okay. The scripture says, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down. So this place is going down in a violent fashion, bro. Second Israel chapter 6, verse 22. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. 
the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. You got these um, stock rooms, all right? You got these uh, big ass factories. You got these, um, you know, where, they, where they're storing up all these goods. And, you know, they're saying like these supermarkets, they only have about three days worth of supply. Okay. But then when all hell breaks loose, man, you're lucky if it even lasts that long. Okay, because people are just going to be out there fending for themselves, taking much more than they even really need because they're going to be panicking. Much more than they can carry, much more than they can even store in their homes. They're going to be panicking. They're going to be running. But people are going to be holding them. I ain't got nothing for my family. So when they see you coming up and running up in your house with your shit, they're going to be running, kicking down your door because they seen you come up in, in there with your shit. You ain't, it's going to be, nowhere is going to be safe. Like, you know, the saying goes, sleep with one eye open. People out here are going to have to sleep with one eye open because it's going to, sleep is going to be a thing. Getting a good night's sleep is going to be a thing of the past. Because everyone's going to be raiding one another, man. But the scripture says, and the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man heareth, they shall suddenly be afraid. And at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies, man. Okay, that's the time that we're coming into. So this is just the beginning. This, this is like labor pains. The theft of meat, sweets and alcohol, the highest in a decade. This is nothing but labor pains. This is just the beginning of the end. All right. It says, um, let's read this paragraph here. More than 1.1 million incidents of theft were recorded in 2022, up from 970,000 the year before. So it's on an all-time high, man. Okay, reaching the highest level in a decade, according to a report by the Association of Convenience Stores published on Thursday. All right, so theft is at an all-time fucking high, man. All right, my battery's about to die on the tablet, man. I've got to close it out in a bit, but... You know, because I can see that, you know, the, the battery life is, the screen is going to all, all dim on me. All right, but let's keep reading. Um, let's go to Second Edges uh, 16 and 21. We can close out on this one, man. I didn't want to make this one too long. I just wanted to do a video on this article right here. All right. And in fact, I was also holding, um, what was I holding? Um, it's still in Matthew 24. Let me read this one first. Matthew 24 and 12. And because iniquity shall abound... Right? The love of many shall wax cold. Sin is everywhere. Okay? The love of many is waxing cold. That's why you're seeing people, you know, that's why you're seeing the rise and the smashing grabs. Okay? That's why you're seeing these things happen. And Esau, that's an excuse for Esau to just lock these cities down. Certain cities, you know, certain uh, places in these cities are going to be locked down where Jake's at. Jacob's trouble. They're going to starve you out. You know, it's going to be like fucking Mad Max out here. And the, the love of many is surely going to wax cold in these last days. And we're seeing the rise of all these things happening, man. Okay? And if you think we're chatting shit, then that's on you. Okay? The, the scriptures speak about, for what if some shall not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? Everything that the apostles and the elders told us is, is true and it's come to pass. But I was taking a shower this morning and I was thinking about that very thought. I said, man, everything the apostles have said is true. As I was in the shower this morning, bro, I was just meditating on what the apostles have said, everything they prophesied, all the videos we've watched, man, what they said things, you know, years ago that have come to pass in these last days. And we're like, whoa, this is happening. So we believe in these prophecies. We believe, and they were just reading the word. They were breaking down these prophecies, man. That's why they ha the prophet Habakkuk said, the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. It will surely come. It will not tarry, bro. This is exactly the time that we're in. These prophecies popping off like popcorn, man. All right, 2nd Ezra 16 and 21. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon the earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. Yeah, that's that peace and safety spirit. And the Lord said, when they shall see peace and safety, then sudden destruction shall come upon them. So the Lord is going to hit them with a sudden, like a shock factor. They're going, people are going to be going into shock, vomiting, pissing, shitting on themselves. Through fear, they're going to be having panic attacks, seizures. All right? Because they're thinking themselves to be in a good case. And so when it actually happens to them, they say, wait, hold on. What the fuck? Out of nowhere. That's when they're going to want to call upon the Lord. What's that? Hosea 5 and 15. I will go and return unto my place till they acknowledge their offense. In their affliction, they will seek me early. This is what these people are going to do. It says, even then shall evils grow upon the earth. The sword, famine. All right? Famine, lack of availability of food, water. Okay, and great confusion. So this is what, this the, the beginning uh, parts of what you're seeing, these labor pains, you're seeing them happen, man, and it's not slowing down. Shit, Israel, Gaza, wars, rumors of wars. 
Okay, uh, Iran's now threatening Israel. Okay, America's back in Israel. Uh, Russia's back in Iran. Be, be thou a guard unto these weaker nations. The weak are saying that they're strong. Okay, the Lord told the disciples what to look out for in Matthew 24. When he spoke to them on the Mount of Olives, he said, look, you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Earthquakes in diverse places. Earthquakes all over the place, man. What happened in Turkey? 50,000 plus people dead, just like that. And different parts of Syria and that. All kinds of earthquakes all over the place. Uproars of the people in the world. All these things are happening. Often in response to what's happening over there in that Gaza Strip. Uproars of the people all over the world. Ain't no one even believing the small hats no more. So this is, man, remember, Ordo Abkeo. Esau is not in the fashion of wasting major crisis, man. So he can manipulate his spinners any way, which way he wants. And by bombing them, 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 them sand niggas up over there in the Gaza Strip, guess what? They can, they can spread more riots to more hate groups. Okay? And you, we're just waiting for the major fool's flag event to take place. And Esau can just come through with their auto abkeo. Yo, everyone's got to be chipped. We need to know who's who. And if you don't listen to the state, you are now an enemy of the state. You see how this works? See, this devil's going to do that, man. He will demonize you for not dancing to the devil's tune. That's why the scripture says... Uh, a great wrath. Let's get it. We can close out on that scripture. Revelation 12 and 12. All right. This is Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you having great wrath. Because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And Esau, the word devil is slanderer or deceiver. You know, Esau is the, is the king at deceiving, man. All right, he, he's the ultimate deceiver. The scripture says, though, the, uh, the, um, they, uh, uh, Psalms 58 and 3. Okay, they go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. So you can't tell us that Esau ain't a deceiver, man. Okay, the secret counsel of the wicked, what they got planned behind closed doors. Their new world order. They want to chip these people out here through the chaotic situations. It introduced curfews and just on my way home from work today I see another military vehicle I've been telling brothers as well I've been seeing military presence on these streets bro all right very very frequent as well low flying helicopters uh, military choppers chin hooks and so on and so forth man I'll be seeing fucking olive green army trucks with with with, with the army in them you know you, you might have three soldiers sitting in one army truck I don't know what they're transporting you know why they coming through the cities, but there's a more there's a heavy military presence right on the on the city in the cities over here in the UK, and I'm seeing that with my very eyes. That's my own testimony. I'm I'm seeing it, and I'm telling you this is what's going on here, bro. Because they're gonna set up these shipping stations. All hell can break loose at any moment, especially in these major cities. All right, so it's just around the corner. That peace and safety spirit is through, man. Okay, let's get uh, one more scripture, Sirach five and seven, real quick. All right, it says, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. So we ain't supposed to be in a fashion of making tarrying to turn to the Lord, bro. All right, the scripture says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. Because there's going to come a time where hey, the famine of the hearing of the word is going to come into full swing. And you ain't even going to be able to find these breakdowns. Then you're not going to be stable. The scripture says, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength for salvation. That's why we're not tarrying to turn to the Lord. It says, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. So we ain't out here trying to be the best, you know, win Father's Day of the, of the Year awards. We ain't out here trying to start up, strike up new business plans and, you know, just invest in this society. We understand clearly that the fashion of this world passeth away. This place is done. This man's kingdom is divided. It's going down. It's circle in the fucking drain. And the scripture says, though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. So if you want this man's kingdom to continue, you're going to go, you're going to get flushed down the drain with him. All right, because it, you're going to perish in the day of the Lord's vengeance. Like the Lord said, vengeance is mine and I will repay, saith the Lord. So the Lord is angry, man. He's angry with the wicked every day. All right. And he's about to fucking, you know, pour out his vengeance. Okay. Upon the unbelievers, upon the wicked of Esau, these other nations. He's going to come back and pour out that vengeance, man. And that's what we're waiting for. All right. So with that, man, I pray you were, uh, you know, you were edified with this lesson, you know. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. 
Shalom to the hopeful elect.